top eighted the Legacy Open, Legacy Classic at Worc Worcester, and it's just a Grixis Death Shadow deck in Legacy. So we're gonna give this a whirl here. Run this through a league, and then we'll we'll call it. How you doing, Teddy? <sighs> yes, my friend Johnny here, GC Brissett, lost to a Yargle in the Sneak and Show Mirror, which w made our tournament fact sheet for our favorite part of the tournament. So we're going to jump in here, play some Legacy, get a league in tonight, and then call it. I'll probably be playing a, quite a bit of Magic this weekend. This wasn't the right year. Play quite a bit of Magic this weekend. But yeah, this right here was my favorite favorite set of the tournament right here. I was playing against my burn opponent, and I turn, I figured out how to turn three of them, threw all of their outs, like just checkmated him. Sat there for probably 45 seconds thinking about that. <clears throat> the O2 IQ play in shadow. I do not do not get it. So I think I keep his hand. We just hope we don't get wrecked. <clears throat> it just looks like I'm playing my deck with better cards. It was a really great tournament. And uh lost the judges close. Affinity was getting steamrolled. As champion with two planes equipped. Oh yeah, that's those are the beats. So we're playing a Delver Mirror here. So I guess we're just going to bolt this thing. If I had a daze, I would play my own Delver, I think, and then like look to go Wasteland Bolt. But I think we are just going to go Steam Vents. Into Don't Daze Me. All right. No, I shouldn't. F6. You have a Pyromancer. Okay. So that Pyromancer is going to become a problem. Um, I could ponder to look for a way to deal with this. Pyromancer, or I can just go Delver Wasteland, which will slow it down. I think I want to go Delver Wasteland. Probably waste them off this red source. And then hope we hit. We might have to brainstorm on our upkeep because if we don't flip this Delver, I'm going to be in trouble. So yeah, I think we're actually going, because we're, we're not going to get through on the ground here. We have to get in the air. So I think I'm actually going to brainstorm my upkeep. How big was your IQ, Teddy? Okay, so we're going to get wasted here. All right, we're just going to let this happen. All right, come on, flip for me. Oh, nope, no, it's not going to flip. That sucks. All right, so I guess we're just going to go fetch an underground sea and ponder. Respect. I just don't really want to take any too much more damage right now as we've got. We're not blocking. So if I keep these, if I draw force, next turn wasteland them. Well, so I actually kind of want to draw wasteland, flip to force, and then play Delver. Or then flip, I want to draw wasteland, waste this, flip my Delver to force, and then figure out what to do with this stifle. Because that's one, two, yeah. So let's just go like this. And then we're going to hope Angler holds down the fort for us. Do you think they'll ever make a new Delft creature worth trying? I'm not sure. IQ, that's a... An 81 person IQ is tough.
Yeah, I think I think the delve is a bit. I think they've learned their lesson with cost reduction. Like they basically, they basically, um, they basically had to ban you know two cards out of legitimate magic, and um, they basically ban two cards out of actual magic, and uh, just like completely made Tarmogoyf useless. Alright, so we're gonna hope they don't ever find a way to deal with this Delver or this Gurmag Angler. And I am gonna force, if they try to get this, I'm, I think I'm gonna force it. I think we're just gonna die on this hill. So here's like the big question. If I don't force this, then I don't know what I'm doing with, like I don't know how I'm winning. Because like right now I'm winning by this trading in the air, by the Gurmag Angler holding these off and the Delver clocking them in the air. If they daze me after this force of will, then I just get like super blown out. And I don't think I can get rid of my brainstorm. So I think we're just gonna let this go. We'll find another one soon here. Or we might just find a way to kill this thing. So this looks the force. We play this wasteland, waste our opponent off of red. They've only got one more bulk left. We're gonna force anything here, yeah. Now the question is, are we holding back our Delver? And I think the answer is yes, because Delver holds back all of these, trades with this Delver. Because if my opponent flips this Delver, attacks me for three, they can hit me for five. Yeah, I think we're just playing defense. <clears throat> This thing doesn't flip, I'm gonna feel bad though. <sighs> so unlucky. Yeah, and like this pyromancer is gonna bury me. I need to find like a shadow. <clears throat> I didn't even update my stream decker with this. Hang on. Okay. Stream decker. All right, yep. We're just going to block out here. They chose to not shuffle, so this Delver is flipping next turn. Okay, so we knew that was there. So let's brainstorm. That's not good. The sad thing about this is we have to like fetch shock in order to. We don't have another steam vents because I, I made a mistake in this deck where I decided to uh, cut a steam vents because I thought it was like the normal death shadow deck when you, but you need the blue mana. A lot as well. I don't even know why I did this. I'm so far behind here. All right. So again, we're gonna pass, block here, block here, take four, waste them out of the game, and hopefully we find enough to do this. I shouldn't. I should not have brainstormed there. That was a mistake. I just was like zoning out, trying to like get this deck up here as well. So that, that brainstorm was loose. It possibly cost me like four life to do it as well, which is not good. Wow, their Delver did not flip. So they kept off a Ponder and their Delver did not flip. That is interesting. 
Why did we not trade with the Pyro in the first attack? I probably made if if the Pyro offered a trade, I probably made a mistake there, Zygef. So just like just a mistake there. Because like we would be we would be much more in this game. So now I'm just gonna waste one of these. They know that they chose to not shuffle, so I might have to stifle one of these triggers here. Because this is gonna buy me some time. Like trade with one. Maybe find a way to like get around these. Creatures here, lightning bolt, okay. So show me a red land. No, it's a wasteland, okay. So block, block. <clears throat> so if I block here and here, I take three, eight exactly. So I have to go. Just soak up the most damage. So I take six. And now I'm likely dead. Yeah. I knew that. I knew I was dead excited because of I got brainstorm locked. But again, like I said, I was zoning out there. How are you doing, Elliot? It's good to see you. It is good to see you, sir. All right. So I want this, this, and then probably some number of these. Some number of these blasts or fluster storms. Probably not all of them, but I think I want some of them at least. Cards I don't want. I don't want these forces on the play. Uh, my stifles, my daisies are good on the play. Probably something like Street Wraith and Thought Seas are kind of medium on the play. And then I probably just don't need these Fluster Storms. Just got off work. Oliver Tomiko's deck was just blue black in the main deck, which might be better. But it was just a, a blue a blue black deck that splashed like a braid and pyroblast in the sideboard, which is nice. I just grabbed a list, a 5 0 list. From online, so I think we're gonna try this. Maybe three blasts is too many, but we're gonna try this out. It is very reasonable that this deck should just like Tomiko's deck looked. Tomiko's deck looked really nice. It only played 16 lands though, and only two wastelands, which I didn't really like. But Tomiko's deck beat up on our storm player. So this hand is good, not great. I'm probably going to keep it and then hold a Scalding Tarn on one. Not cycle my Street Wraith yet. Because I would like to be able to stifle something. We don't have, a, we don't have like a castable threat. I'm also picky about sevens. What a tilt. So I could just daze this, but then we turn off our wasteland if they daze back. So we're just going to let this go, and then I'll untap and waste them. Because if we go daze, they daze, then I can't, then I'm not doing anything next turn. Drawing out of the land is pretty good. But then I can't do anything with my fetch land. If they days back. Alright, so I'm gonna I should not have played that land. Cycle this. Alright, power blast is pretty good. I shouldn't have played my land before I did that. So now if I get something to point this power blast, this stifle at, I'm gonna be able to um hit my opponent. I'm gonna be a little gurmagging over them. But it appears that my opponent is wise to it. So I don't 
think I'm going to do anything now. Alright, so let's fetch. Get a watery grave. It is likely that this Delver gets killed, but... Yeah, maybe you're right, Elliot. Like, I just didn't want my card to be turned off. Okay, so this is going to get wasted. So, this is probably worth stifling. Because I think I'm going to want my lands. So I do think I'm going to stifle this fetch land here. Stifle this wasteland, excuse me. If my opponent does go for something here, I can a two mana play like a young pyromancer. I can still daze it. This could be greedy, not fetching another black land with the Gurmag Angler, but it's like I could see that. Yeah, this was greedy. I should have gotten no. I should have gotten another land, especially if I wasn't going to daze this. Yeah, I made a mistake here. This was my fault. Yeah, I made I made a mistake. Now if they bolt this Delver, I'm gonna hurl. Yeah. See, I just got I just punted here and got worked. Which is not good. Now we're like a wait now we're like a wasteland away from this game just being over. Oh, I always forget about that Delray. Or not Delray, uh, Elliot. Sorry, I was using my legacy player here. So now I think we go destroy target permanent if it's blue. So let's hold priority here. And then we Get our land back. Yeah, I knew about the play. It just wasn't as intuitive. And then they play their own angler. So we're going to go for this dismember. It is likely not going to work. I could play my own angler. I'm going to leave with this land, though, so that if this does work, I can take less damage next turn. Come on. Give me a break. No, nope, they had a daze. That's pr uh, just game over. Yeah, I just got work there. Like, just not as experienced and just got beat up there. Which happens. I don't play Legacy 2 too often, so it usually takes me a minute to get into here. Yeah. Just got beat up, which happens. I appreciate all the follows. I think I missed some people there. Like Keldon Barlord, if you're still in there, thank you for the follow. We're almost up to a thousand followers. Why didn't we blast their days and stifle their fresh? Fresh Kale, I like I'm very new at Legacy. So this is a new deck that I'm trying out here. I'm not a super I don't play a lot of legacy, so there's probably gonna be some mistakes that are made. Yeah, like I just messed up. I do, I would like to learn this deck though, because it only plays one dual land. And that, that could happen. One dual land could happen. Six dual lands isn't going to happen. It's 
So how's everybody else in the chat doing tonight? I need to get some socks on. My feet are cold. We are back. Oh, Jason Crow, I hit my desk. Very slowly. Probably by our shower. I would probably buy my hands. I probably would have brought him. I don't like hymns in Delver matchups. At least back when I played Delver a little bit. Um, the hymns, like, I didn't like cards that didn't affect the, the board. Like, Thoughtseize is a little different. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the sand. I'm going to lead on Watery Grave. <clears throat> Do the swirl. Yes. I can see that. Eye of Ugin. All right, let's hope this thing flips. Yes, I would like to reveal a stifle. So now I can thought seize. Huh. So one, two, three, four. So like, none of these things have reach. So I guess I just take this Wasteland Strangler because it's their next turn play. And then hope to find a shadow quickly. <clears throat> yeah, I can stifle TKS. Okay, so they played the Tomb and they drew the Mimic. Can't daze that thing. Alright, that's a pretty sweet draw. So now just attack and then waste this Eye of Ugin. There appears to be quite a few awful things in this matchup. This isn't bad because if they have to tap this ancient tomb to cast spells, like it's gonna it's gonna cause some issues. So there's the cavern, which we can't do anything with. All right, that's a pretty good draw. There's your boy. So what do they play? They play Dismember, right? But we know most of their hand. I'm just going to hope that they don't Dismember this thing. 12, leave my fetch land around just in case. I'm so used to just fetching. can't stifle a cavern trigger, Johnny. Yeah, like they're, they're under some pressure. Okay. So let's get a steam vent so I can't get wasted off of color.
Yeah, so now they can't tap this. <laughs> we totally just won this match without, like, on a mold of three. We just didn't use three cards we drew. Like, wasn't didn't even need that. wasn't even close. All right. So I would tend to think that him is decent here. Dismember. Nothing else. These stifles seem awful. And this daze seems awful. But are the days worse than the stifles? Like which of these are worse? <clears throat> then I want to cut five of these. I don't know which are worse. I like they all seem pretty bad. Well, if they don't have a cavern, I don't mind. I think I think I like keeping stifling because at least stifle lets me handle dot not seer and jet. Let me probably like keep keep them tight. I wouldn't mind trying Tomiko's version of this deck also. So I think I have to mulligan this hand because like it just KO'd by Chalice on one and they kept seven. But like another issue I think with this deck, it didn't have like any abrades in its sideboard. All right, well at least this is like a decent six maybe. Because they don't have a Chalice. We're just going to play like they don't have a Chalice. If they do Chalice, maybe the game's over. Tomorrow I had no bolts. Well, not necessarily, Elliot. We have Force of Wills. All right, we're going to go to the next game. <clears throat> All right, Elliot, take it easy. You're, you're distracting. Okay. Yeah, I didn't like how this one didn't have any abrades. So I kind of want these dazes on the play now. So now I can get rid of these stifles. And maybe like a lightning bolt. Because like lightning bolt's not super great. I could just cut like a cantrip. Okay, game three. All right, Elliot. All right. <clears throat> so, I lost my train of thought. What did I cut? I cut a ponder. That's probably dumb. I cut one of these cards. I feel like Bolt's the, my worst card. Like, Bolt just hits Mimic. You cut one Force. I'll go with that. We'll try that. Well, I guess I have so many other ways to get under Chalice on the play. Yeah, we'll try this. Hey, thanks, Nameless. All right, sounds good, Johnny. I will we'll go with it there. I could cut two, but I don't know what else. Whoa, I don't know what else I would play beside it. All right, no land heater. Oh, this is gross. Bolts greater than one force. I'm going to mulligan this hand. Like, it doesn't do anything. Like, these are blanks. Can't cast these. All right. Whatever, I'm going to put this on top. And then we're just going to go fetch play Delver. I can daze a chalice, force 
You know, Thought Seeds plus Wasteland next turn. Yeah, that hand wasn't even close. Sorcerer's Spyglass. Enters the battlefield. Look at opponent's hand. Choose any card name. I think I want to daze this so that I can waste this. Because he's going to name Wasteland. I would like to Wasteland this. I guess they're going to wait. No, that was stupid. Because they're going to get rid of this anyways next turn. That was a dumb. That was dumb. That was just dumb. I guess I'm still going to waste this because it, it makes them have like less mana next turn. But it was I should just let that resolve. I think, but then they would have. Yeah, I don't know. At least they can't tap it. Okay, so there's a mimic. Maybe this is what they were going for. Okay, flip him. Yes. Might have to be on. We might be on block duty here. No, they don't have anything. Okay. All right. Yeah, I should have like. But if I'm if I'm like, I don't know. I didn't want to get like dot not seared or something like that. Okay, we got dot not seared. Anyways, now this game's over. You didn't have that last turn. Now we're just like so dead. Right, even if I trade here, I'm taking four. Like unless my top card's like Death Shadow. Then like I maybe have a chance. I'm just gonna try to trade with this Eldrazi mimic. Yep, Shadow's an out. Shadow's no longer an out. All right. Whew. We're getting beat up. Well, that's my fault. Like, I don't necessarily know the best way to handle these, to navigate these matchups yet. I definitely don't really like, so if we go look over here, I don't love that there's no, like, a braid in this deck. And I mess these lands up. So, like, when you play the modern version of this deck, you have you want to have more Blood Crypts. But in this version, you want Steam Vents. So, like, I just instinctively cut a Steam Vents for a Blood Crypt. But that's wrong in this deck because of days and stuff. So I zoned out there. Let me go here to MTG Goldfish. So, like, yeah, I punted this one here. Just the, the deck registration. Like, I, I didn't see that interaction. Where is this? They just show the classics. They don't show the results here. I was going to pull up Tomiko's deck. Oh, yeah, I didn't even change the sideboard, sideboard for it. This hand's pretty good. We got a force. We got a quick... A quick... Uh, Quick Shadow and Angler, probably. Truffle Island. So we're playing against Rug Delver. Oh, we're playing against Infect. Okay. But I just took I just took a list. I didn't really put a lot of thought into it. I just took one and played it. I don't know enough about this format to like, you know, really have opinions about it. All right. So I'm just going to go get a Watery Grave and play this. Dude, Invigorate is so good against Death Shadow. Oh, my God. I'm going to get Invigorated and just wrecked in this game. That, like, just dawned on me. Or Band Blade. That makes sense. God, if I get Invigorated, that's so bad. 
That is like such a huge beating. All my opponents would probably like think I'm like a super pleb or something. How's it going, Nilla? They're like, wow, you got watery graves. He doesn't have duels. This guy sucks. Alright, we're gonna let that go. Probably gonna force like a Stoneforge Mystic. Or a Blighted Agent. I think we're playing against. I, I would guess we're playing against Infect. Nope. I have no idea what this is. This is a rug deck with Noble Hierarch. Can't even afford Moto Duels, seriously. A rug deck with Noble Hierarch in it. It's like no rug, isn't that a deck? Come on, flip for me. Stifle, sweet. So if my opponent bolts this, I'm going to cycle and force pitch the Stifle, because I don't think Stifle is going to be very good. What is this? Are they going to dismember? Okay. So now we're going to cycle, force pitch the Stifle, because the Stifle is not going to do anything. And this makes it so I can play Death Shadow this turn. Okay. Dismember that. Draw for turn. That's not bad. So now we ponder. I don't really. I kind of want the Bloodstained Mire. But I don't want any other card. Is it worth taking a draw off in order to get this Bloodstained Mire? It probably is. Because, like, I get to go, like, double threat next turn. So what other card do I want to draw? Probably the... Each of these are really bad. I could just take the Stifle because it could pitch to Force of Will. Because, like, both of these suck. I think we're going to go like this. No. Play a 1-1. One, one. Pass. Okay. Okay. So I guess now I actually still just go fetch shock, play angler, play shadow. Fetch shock puts me a nine. Puts me a nine. He can attack me for four. And then three, and I died to like a bolt. And now I can attack over the top of his, um, over the top of there. Tune in Nemesis. If I throw Fetch Shock, you gonna force this? You gonna force me, bro? While this card might be really good against that shadow, if you try to race that shadow, that usually does not end well. I just can't wait for him to go fetch like a white source and then plow my Gurmag Angler and just three for one me. Yeah. Force is this. Force pitch brainstorm. Okay. So I might as well hold my stifle for a true name nemesis for a for a uh, stoneforge mystic. Because that's what's gonna beat us.
So we only cracked this. We only played this because I don't want my opponent to go block bolt. Like I'm not going to fetch. Like we're just going to pass. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we might be able to like, we might be able to like, uh, whatever it is, fed brainstorm lock them. Can't do that. This deck is just like a faster Delver deck that. It's probably worse against fair match, fair, fair decks, because like of just how much of a blowout Swords of Splash Air is. That's not good. That is not good, ladies and gentlemen. So it likely means that another one's coming. Whoa. You just have a plow, like. I just have to have a plow. Plow or bolt. We can't beat bolt. We can't beat plow. So like, we're just gonna go fetch shock, try to kill them. What, what, why are they double fetching? Is this like a Venser? So you dead? Are you dead? Bounding crisis. I guess I stifled the wrong thing. All right. It's not something you see every day. All right, well, we just attack with this one. They have to block. And then, like, if we get a removal spell, we got them. Is this like a Splinter Twin deck? Yeah, it's going to be like a twin deck of some sorts. Yeah. Oh, they hit a Tarmogoyf. It's pretty big. It means they can attack with Trinity Nemesis. Oh, they didn't attack. That is interesting. I guess they don't want to lose to a removal spell. But if I had a removal spell, I would have just killed them. Now I just like abyss them every turn. I guess I guess if I attack, they just go block block, attack with true name and Tarmogoyf. So there's no sense attacking now. So I'm still dead to all the, like, now I just need to peel, like, hope they attack, peel a bolt, and kill this. Is it a block block, then crack me for seven? I agree. So like a brainstorm would be sweet here. We haven't seen a bolt yet. Bolt would be sweet. Show me a lightning bolt. I can't imagine them keeping a card on top that doesn't kill me. What could you, what would you keep on top that like doesn't kill me? 
Brainstorm. All right, well, at least that cuts them off red. God, we're about to get Vendillion clicked. Okay, that's game. We dead, ladies and gentlemen. I don't really know what happened there. Yeah, Tom. Playing some Legacy, Legacy Shatter tonight. It's not Tomiko's deck. It was the deck from earlier that 5 0'd. I definitely messed up the building, though. Like, I just got stuck on, like, normal Death Shadow mode, and I cut a Steam Vents for a Blood Crypt, and that's not right when you have Days in your deck. So I've got to think that I want, maybe not Flusterstorm, but I want Pyroblast against this deck. And I want my removal. My forces don't seem great. Uh, Rough Tumble is probably not good. Um, I don't think him is good unless we see Stoneforge Mystic. I think this is kind of what we want to do. This is what I'm thinking. I'm just dead to him literally attacking with the Vendillion Click and the... Um, and uh, whatever it is, the true name nemesis, Elliot. It's like literally when I'm dead. <laughs> like they click me and then I'm dead, right? I'm very tired. Work, work has been intense, but like, I don't think I missed it by that much, right? Because it's on, it's on my turn, right? They just go like block chump and then attack me with click and. Tune in Emesis. That's what we're going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I appreciate everyone showing up tonight. It was nice talking about the tournament. Tommy B in the chat. Captain Tommy B was our standard player. Yeah, it was on my turn. You should, you should realize before you Twitch chat it, Elliot. Yeah, Tom here was our standard player. Tom's great. Tom disintegrates with the best of them. Um, so I kind of want to keep this hand. Because I could just like wasteland them out of the game. But like my hand also doesn't do anything, but I have a ponder. I feel like I'm not supposed to be as selective with Mulligans and Legacy as I am in, like, Modern. The problem is, if with this Ponder, I guess I can, like, redraw off of this, too. It's like I need lands plus threats. But whatever. We're going to keep it. And Driver. Don't forget that. The best Driver. So I guess there's not really, like, any reason to hold these Street Wraiths, right? Because... They just do the same thing. Like you, like you, you draw your card. It's not like you get screwed with serum visions by like you can cycle after the scry. All right, so that makes me feel better. So I want one of these bolts. I do not want the second one. Did I just stack that poorly? Yeah, I did. I forget the bottom one doesn't come. The bottom one's on the bottom. I thought if I click it first, then I drew it. But that's not how this works. You have to go, like, click. The first one you click is the last one you draw. I have to remember that. Okay. So now we're just going to waste that. And then probably... Play a fetch land. Maybe. I might just keep the stifle because I'm going to keep them off mana for the whole game. Then just play slow. But after, I, I got to remember which way that fetching sequence works. They chose not to shuffle. Well, we're just going to go like this. Alright, so now we can bolt this Noble Hierarch and hold up Stifle. I also F6 all the time, which I shouldn't do. 
So let's get Steam Vents. Are we kind of sad if my opponent plays a Tarmogoyf here? <clears throat> Alright, don't play a Tarmogoyf. Okay. That's whatever. We're just going to go Bolt Wasteland. Jeez. Sometimes you just you just get it. I should have played my Wasteland first in order to play around Spell Pierce. That was down. They're going to force this. Okay. You got it. You got it, sir. Hopefully, I don't get Trune Nemesis here. If I do get Trune Nemesis, the game is likely over. Blue, blue, yep. So this deck just doesn't have any answer to this. Which is like odd, another odd thing from this, this build of this deck. I guess I should have... I just want any order here. I guess I can just bolt this thing. Wasteland their blue land. I usually like how Dalloway um I like how Dalloway builds his decks. I have I have my questions about this one have my questions. I will try Tomiko's deck. I am going to play the Legacy Challenge this weekend. So my part I tap my mana, right? Teddy. Like I, I tapped Steam Vents to bolt this to bolt the uh, Noble Hierarch and they forced it. Yeah, that does seem kind of suspect here. Maybe the Sylvan Library is going to let me get in the game. Oh, my opponent's not going to attack. Okay. Maybe. We're going to find a Gurmag Angler, Fetchland Shadow, something like that. Okay, well. We'll put both of these underneath. Hey, thanks, Force of William. Appreciate it. Yeah, and again, for like... Fast one A. I just I just took a deck list. Like took a deck list. Didn't do a lot with it because you know just what I decided to do. I would like to try Tomiko's deck though, so I might stream Tomiko's deck on like um, Thursday because I would like to find a deck to play in the Legacy Challenge. Where is this deck? Tom Michael. SCG Philadelphia. Just cannot find that deck list. I'm losing my mind. Yeah, it was a good it was a good tournament. Worked out good for all of us. My opponent's just got this soul read here. They know. They know that I'm just sitting on a death shadow here. I'm gonna stifle this fetch land. Just use my cards. Make so he can't see a new set. It is good that you made money, Johnny. It is good. This is going to be my last League of the Night. I'm not going to play too, too many. Um, I'm not going to play too, too many matches tonight as I am tired. I just wanted to get the – I'm not going to be able to stream tomorrow because my wife um, is going to use the computer for work. So 
I wanted to get it in tonight. At what point do I just like start blasting something and then like daze it just to like deal myself damage? Probably never against like a, a true name nemesis. <laughs> yes, sir, Johnny. Whenever that happens. That might be the line there, Nilla. They used to they used to um like the Rug Delver decks used to play wooded foothills back in the day. You only owe me ninety-nine point four percent of a underground sea now, Johnny. Oh. So you're saying there's a chance. Yo, if this Delver flips and my opponent's got nothing, we might do it. It's a whole lot of ifs, though. Vendillion Quick. Counter target blue spell. Get that thing out of here. I could have dazed that. Probably should have dazed that to pick up a land. But, like... If this Delver flips, then we're kind of off of the Death Shadow plan. At least Delver makes them play Shadow. Yeah. Johnny, just buy yourself Thought Scours, and I will pay for them, as I owe you Thought Scours. It is easier for me to Venmo than to send them to you. What is this? A Braid. <clears throat> I might as well just daze this, pick up the steam vents. Oh, it just seems so mopey. I don't even need the cards to brainstorm away. I was just doing it, just doing it to do damage, Johnny. There was no other real point to it. He has just got his heart set here. Yeah, I still have the massacre right in the binder, Nilla. Okay. All right, we're not messing around anymore. It's going to make my uh, days is better. The old Oh yeah, you play that in Tez cuz you can wish for it, right? It was really interesting watching Delray play Storm this weekend because, like, he would sit there and he would just, like, count. He'd have his fingers and he'd be, like, pointing. And you could obviously tell, like, the wheels are turning. And then, like, when he decided to keep, his opponent was dead. And then when he decided not to keep, he just put his cards away. Aww. Okay. So now they're going to start attacking because I already played a Death Shadow. So at least they should start attacking. Okay. All right. All right. I need a cantrip. Need something to get the wheels going here. Unfortunately, can't. What an odd game. It's a very odd game of magic. I don't understand why my opponent's like not attacking because like they can just brick wall this unless they're that afraid of edict. What a weird game! What a weird game of magic! All right, we are just going to cast this. If my opponent dazes me back, I'll just daze them again. This is like a splinter. This has got to be a splinter twin deck. 
There's no other way. There's no other reason you play Bounding Crisis. It's like a red twig legacy deck. Oh, they drew some cards. I guess I am through three lightning bolts. My opponent's just like they are hell bent. All right. Come on, Delver. Come on, Delver. You can do it. You can do it, little guy. God, don't do it. All right, well, we're just going to deal with this. Bounding Graces is blue. Come on, little Delver, you can do it. It's probably going to flip and run face first into like a Pestermite or a Vendillion click. I'm just going to hurl. Got me. What an odd game of magic. All right. There's a potentially big boy. God, if only I had Battle Rage, I can deal with this true name nemesis. This deck just needs teamer. All decks need teamer Battle Rage. If there's a problem with your deck, it's probably just because it doesn't have teamer Battle Rage in it. Hence my card around me. See, now they're in, like, they could have just killed me. <laughs> that did happen one time. Oh my god, this is just like such an anemic game of magic. Like, neither my opponent or I are just doing anything. So they're just like borderline embarrassing. Yeah, they're just like a huge subset of modern decks that just can't beat Battle Rage. I just have no idea what is happening here. I mean, I guess... We just have nothing but like forces. Okay, this big dumb, this big dumb dude. All right. Yeah, they were a Splinter Twin deck. Yep. So we sniffed it out. Thank you for that memory. <laughs> Johnny, this could have this could have been it. It could have been it for you. God. What an elegant magic deck that I'm playing against. Noble Hierarch Rug Twin. God, I was kind of hoping my opponent would just top deck a Splinter Twin there and put me out of my misery. So now I like now I'm dead because they just attacked me for two here. All right, I guess I'm still dead next turn unless I find another blocker. All right, we're going to try to take one more draw step because I can blow this up, block this, and kill them if they have nothing, which seems unlikely. But they might go for it. It's just good deck building. This is just an elegant, like, beast of a deck here. I mean, 
I don't think I should. Petite. Fight. What do you got? Fighters. Well, I can, I'm not beating a counter spell anyways. Like, I'm hoping that he just attacks for everything, and then I blast this Krasis and then kill him on the crackback. That's the game plan here. Because, like, he just do nothing and attack with his Trunay Nemesis like he's going to. Where's Oliver Tomiko's deck? Get that thing out of here. I don't even have a removal spell that kills this because we don't have. We play Bolt, not Fatal Push. And Dismember doesn't even kill it. So we were hoping he just swung out. I blocked Tarmogoyf, hit this, and then kill him on the crackback, but that's very unlikely. If we had like Diabolic Edict, we might have a shot here. All right, so this deck didn't seem great. I probably was not, um, I probably was not necessarily piloting this super well. I'm, I'm a little tired and new to, and not like the greatest legacy person, but we definitely got Molly Watt. Um, I want to look here. At these deck lists, if I can find it, I'm gonna definitely try out this one. What is going on? Team Open Philadelphia. I'm gonna try this one later. Probably like probably on Wednesday or Thursday, try this version of it out. It's only a 16 lands, but there's no red in the main deck. Play Snuff Out, which is sweet, and two stubs. Okay, I love I love Stubborn Denial. So we're gonna try this one out. This is gonna be a braid duck, it's got an edict. So it has like some ways to deal with Liliana, which is great, or, or the, uh, whatever the card is. Um, Trinity Nemesis. So we're gonna try this out here. We're gonna try this probably on Thursday. So, but I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. Um, appreciate everybody listening to my little rant about the tournament. It was great and I will be excited to give it a whirl and run it back. Uh, let's see if there's anyone else in the Card Hoarder Network that is streaming that I can send everybody over to. Short stream tonight is I'm a little tired. Um, it appears it is just me. I don't think that there's anyone else that is currently on. Oh, there is. Okay, so we're going to send you guys over to Carbido Montez. Backslash host Carbito. Montez. Yeah, I was just walking home from work, Johnny, so I figured I would see what you were doing. But, oh, God. But, yeah, I, I definitely like this deck, and it is actually a legacy deck that is, like, somewhat, um, somewhat, like, reasonable. So, backslash host... All right, we'll see all of you guys on uh, Thursday or Friday. I hope everyone has a good rest of the night.